Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. A lot of questions. When's the best time to install any type of drainage system? You know what? The best time to install this is when the ground is frozen. Here we are in Charlotte. There's frost all over the ground. Ground's semi-frozen right now, but really the best time to install is when the ground's frozen. Frozen or semi-frozen ground is really great because it's very dry soil. You can rent a trencher, It'll pulverize that soil and make your cleanup so easy. So today we're installing a catch basin rather than a channel drain to solve this driveway problem. Sometimes you don't need a channel drain. It really depends on how that driveway is pitched. And take a look. You can see where we're going to put these catch basins. I'll show you that right now. This driveway is actually sloped all the way to one side. You can actually see it in this photo. When it rains, all the water would pull up on this side of the driveway. You can see the crack inside the driveway as well. That tells you that there's a lot of water underneath of that concrete. When it would rain, even a small rain, the homeowners couldn't even step out of their car because it's uphill from that low spot out to the street. So again, when it rained, all the water would just pool and sit there between this catch basin and the garage. Real simple project. Remember, there's two parts of every rainwater drainage system. Part one, collection. We're using catch basins to collect the water from the driveway. Part two is the discharge. You know, a lot of driveways are tilted back towards the, the garage. I don't know why, but a lot of them are. And so we've got to install a sump pump as our discharge. Catch basins will collect the water. The sump pump will lift it up and send it out to the street. If your driveway is tilted to one side, this system will work great. If it's really flat, then you're going to need a channel drain. Much more costly and much more involved. Remember, the best time to install this is when the ground is dry. So frozen or semi-frozen ground, wow, this is really a piece of cake with a trencher. And it makes a really quick job of almost all your rainwater drainage installations. The trench I'm digging is going to double not only for the sump basin discharge, but also for the collection from the catch basins. We can send the water back down the hill to the sump basin, and then we can pump that water all the way out here to the street. So we have collection coming from the catch basins. That's in the black four inch corrugated pipe. That's four inch solid. We've collected the water. We want to keep it. We'll bring that back to the basin, and then the sump pump will lift it up and send it all the way out to the street. We also need a good discharge to come through that curb. So the final thing we're going to do here on the install will be to cut the curb. Basically, I make two cuts to create a V. Then I'm going to use the pry bar and just pop those right out of there. It's really simple. So using a good sump pump, we easily lifted this water up and sent it all the way out here to the street because it was uphill from the garage to the street. So once again, two parts of every system, collection and discharge. There's the sump pump line where we cut the curb, brought it right out to the street. This system works great. So we collected the water with catch basins. We sent it to the sump pump. The sump pump lifts it up and sends it all the way out to the street. I'll show you the sump pump setup on this job in the next video. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.